You probably all wonder why I called this video How Powerful is Emperor Palpatine in 2020. Star Wars canon is content that is constantly changing according to new events that happened in Star Wars universe. Since there were a lot of new events happening in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker movie and Star Wars animated TV series Clone Wars, canon information about a lot of characters have been updated with new details about their life. Today we are going to talk about how powerful Emperor Palpatine is in 2020, with his canon story just recently updated with many new details that we haven't knew about. So scrap everything that you heard about Emperor Palpatine powers and listen to the newest, most updated information about his canon storyline. There is quite a bit of interesting and sort of shocking information, so stay with us for exciting news. First of all, I have to say that most recent canon confirmed that Emperor Palpatine actually died on Second Death Star, but he managed to transfer his essence to his cloned body on Sith legendary world of Exegol, placed deep in the unknown regions. The explanation makes total sense, because if Palpatine haven't died, he would be 119 years old during the rise of Skywalker movie events, which would be rather strange even for Star Wars universe. Just before the New Year, canon information was that Emperor Palpatine's final death was on Exegol, 35 ABY, which marked him as gone for good. When I checked latest canon, the information is changed and now stands that his clone body died in 35 ABY, which means that there is still no final death for Emperor Palpatine, which again means that we will probably see all famous villain again in action in some further Star Wars projects. Emperor Palpatine was obsessed with the notion of achieving immortality. The Dark Lord of the Sith looked toward cloning and the transferring of his conscience as a means to essentially live forever. Unlike his master, Darth Plagueis, Sidious had unlocked the secret of attaining an eternal life through the efforts of the Sith Eternal, a cult of Sith worshippers dedicated to the dark side religion based on the hidden Sith world of Exegol. Owing to their knowledge of dark science and cloning technology, the Sith Eternal yielded a sufficient yet frailed clone body that was capable of housing Emperor Palpatine's spirit. Now let's finally talk about Emperor Palpatine's powers. Emperor Palpatine was incredibly powerful in the Force, with extreme levels of mastery over the powers of the dark side. He was extremely skilled in Force Lightning and was known to use his powers both as a deadly attack and as a means of torture. Emperor Palpatine could use Force Lightning in a number of ways, including striking multiple enemies at once, with the bolt jumping from one victim to the other, like a chain effect, effectively electrocuting them. The maximum potential of Palpatine's Force Lightning, however, was achieved before his death on Exegol. When restored back to his former self, Palpatine unleashed an immense wave of Force Lightning toward the sky, which rapidly expanded enough to disable all the ships of the Resistance. Emperor Palpatine was exceptionally adept at foreseeing the future, an ability which allowed him to plan for nearly any contingency. He believed that, with enough time and practice, he would eventually have been able to use the dark side to view the future with 100% accuracy. The Dark Lord also was proficient in Sith magic and he was able to cast a Dark Illusions.
One of the examples of future foreseeing was during the Battle of Endor in 4 ABY. The fallen Jedi Knight Darth Vader returned to the light side of the Force, reclaiming his identity of the Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker, and sparing his son Luke Skywalker from the wrath of the Palpatine. Skywalker, unwilling to watch his son die, seized Palpatine in his grip and threw the Galactic Emperor down the reactor shaft of the second Death Star, killing him. However, Palpatine had planned for the Chosen One inevitable betrayal and thrust his conscience into the depth of the unknown regions while his original body was destroyed. The clone body awaited on Exegol, where it would be entered by Sidious' malevolent spirit and slowly decayed by the great power that now resides within. Emperor Palpatine was also capable of using dark absorption. He was also capable of telepathically communicating with Snoke over a distance of hundreds of light years. It appeared, however, as though this ability may have been limited to sending and receiving relatively simple messages, such as Snoke requesting that a starfighter be shipped to him as the two communicated through hollow projections while discussing more complex matters. Palpatine also had a remarkably keen ability to sense the thoughts and feelings of others, including those of incredibly power force adepts such as Snoke and Kylo Ren. He even created the extremely powerful force wielder Snoke, who far surpassed Kylo Ren and Rey. He was able to easily overpower both Ben Solo and Rey, as shown by how he deactivated their lightsabers and disarmed them using the force, then later easily telekinetically picked up Ben Solo and threw him into the pit behind him. Palpatine also demonstrated the ability to drain a life essence or the Force from his victims as he did with Rey and Ben Solo in their confrontation on Exegol. Despite his frail appearance, Palpatine was immensely skilled in lightsaber combat to the point of being one of the greatest duelists of all time. Having fully mastered every single form of lightsaber combat, Sidious was one of the very few who could go head to head with both Yoda and Mace Windu. Palpatine was also very skilled with Sith language called Ur-Kitat. Ur-Kitat was originally spoken by the Sith. It commonly adorned their temples such as the Sith Citadel on Exegol, or their obelisks such as the ones found outside the Malakor Sith Temple. The language was also used in Sith rituals. However, by the time of the Galactic Republic, and amidst an effort to quarantine Sith worlds and erase Sith history, Urkitat was considered a forbidden language and the Senate passed legislation forbidding protocol droids from translating any text from it. Despite this prohibition, Darth Bane Sith Order continued to use both Urkitat and its bulk dialect. Some Jedi were also familiar with how to read and speak the language. So with that being said, we are at the end of today's topic about most recently updated Emperor Palpatine canon information on his powers and abilities. I think personally Emperor Palpatine was the most powerful character in the whole galaxy. Before we finish, please let me know what do you think about Palpatine's powers in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future Star Wars content. Until next time, my fellow galactic citizens, may the force be with you 
always.